Hi, this is Susa Leventero. Okay, <clears throat> happy Sunday here. Okay, so I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to do uh, Virgo up. Okay, and um, today, let's see how far I get. <laughs> I'm really in, enjoying my vacation mode here. Okay. And um, so let's get a spark of happiness. Okay. So here we go. Make a list of things you like about yourself. Ooh. Okay. I feel like this is really important, right? Because if you love yourself, like really love yourself, right? Okay. And you like yourself, it becomes easier to connect with other people. Okay. Ask for help solving a problem or uh, completing a project. Okay. Recall a happy memory and share it with someone who was there. Ooh, I like that one. Okay. All right, we're going to do uh, pop-up love readings, okay? I did a collective one yesterday, and then, <clears throat> that's all I got through. <laughs> okay, and then I didn't realize it went into two videos, so I posted the second one thinking that was the only one I had, and then I was like, wait a minute, why did it upload so fast? <laughs> <laughs> because the last part was only like a minute long. So, all right. I tried to connect the two together yesterday. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm really in vacation mode here. <laughs> okay. All right. So, here we go. We're going to do pop-up love readings. And we're going to start with Virgo. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting a couple things here. All right, this goes here, and this goes here. Okay. So what I feel like you're doing here is you're using your wisdom, right, to kind of mend uh, some relationships here. Okay. And um, so it's like... It's like you're bridging the gap to kind of mend this, uh, these relationships within, it could be tribe, it could be family, and it could be love or work relationship. Okay. All right. Now it could be three different groups of people. Okay. Um, and trying to keep it together. That's what I'm getting. Keep it together. Keep it together. Keep it together. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm getting is this is soulmate stuff, right? This is like past life. Uh, for a lot of you, this is like past life relationships. Uh, it's like rebirth. And it was like repeating some of the same cycles. Okay. And you're trying to um, bring new light a new way to uh, some of these old patterns that were being repeated. Okay. All right, now here's Page of Swords. Okay, so here there's a computer, and uh, and then here's the Page of Swords. So on some level, there could this could be like Internet things. Okay, so for some of you, this is like, seeing what your past person was doing on the internet and things like that. And it could have been a water sign is what I'm getting with this. Okay, so they've had some breakup stuff. Okay. And um, it 
And I feel like with you, they felt defeated. That's what, I, what, that's what I'm getting. Okay, but there's an opportunity here to bring it back. And I don't know that you see it. Okay. I feel like you do because you're this. Okay, that's what I feel like. Now, if this is a Virgo reading and the high priestess is showing up, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're high vibing. That could mean that you decided to go in the Piscean energy and swim in the trenches. In that case, if you did that to kind of find out stuff, you may not necessarily be high vibing. So you want to make sure if you did do that to understand certain energies to um, raise your own energy through quiet time. Okay, and I feel like that's what this is. Okay, so... Um, so you want to do that so you could be clear and move in this youthful energy again. Okay. And um, now this could also mean that your intellect um, okay, so what, what you want to do is anyway, have a youthful kind of energy here, right? In your mind. Okay, so to release that old past okay and here there's it looks like two wands right but it's structures and the sun is peeking through okay so it's taking the first steps towards your new beginning now this could represent with a water sign for some of you okay for some of you it could be a pisces Okay, but I'm um, getting Scorpio mostly energy. So you could have been harnessing some of that. All right, now here we go. Okay, so here's Seven of Swords reverse. Okay, so there was some of that tricky energy. Okay. All right, but look, two of wands, just like in the uh, here, back here. And the sun peeking through. And, oh, there's a sun here, too. So you've got two suns here. Okay, and the two wands. Okay, taking the first steps. Okay, so you might want to, uh, if you're in this phase here, reassess your goals and desires, right? Uh, we're in Sagittarius moon, so that means that you may want to uh, feel like there's needing to go somewhere, do something, okay, and I feel like that might be a positive way, uh, thing to do, get out, okay, and that way, uh, your when your energy rises, right, then uh, this kind of energy falls away, okay, and then here's the two of wands, okay, you might be going on a trip somewhere, okay, so for some of you, this might be like uh, the French Riviera, Okay. All right, so let's see what's the next card. Woo! The star. Okay, so you may need to uh, kind of... Okay, I get it. Okay, so we're in Sagittarius moon now. And, um, and so from there, we're moving into the Aquarius moon. Okay, so you might want to use this time to go within... And uh, find new phrases to give yourself encouragement every day. Um, love on yourself, right? Um, you could say things like, I am worthy. I am loving. Whatever it is that I am, right? And, um, and as you give yourself compassion and kindness... It'll be easier to extend that to others here, especially if you're doing any kind of altruistic work, right? And here I feel like um, you've got a handle on your emotions. Okay, so that's nice. Okay, and some of you, you may just need a trip to go release some of your burdens here. Okay, but I always suggest... Raise your energy before you go on the trip so that you don't have a funky trip. Okay, so if you're planning to go on a trip, you want to make sure you take the time 
to release those burdens through silence and connecting to that pure energy within. Okay. So, and sometimes you want to let go and hand it over to spirit, right? And uh, let them assist you. Okay. You still have to take the action steps towards whatever those things are, right? But sometimes it's better just release the resistance, right? And um, and move out of it. Okay. All right. So let's see here. All right. Now, okay, so for some of you, I, there's love, but I feel like it feels like it's going slow. Now, for some of you, you might have ended something with a Scorpio. All right. Now, if you have Scorpio in your chart, like let's say rising or moon energy, right? Okay, you want to align that energy with your energy. Okay. So I feel like that's really important, especially if you've been in the Pisces energy. Okay. All right, here's the Nine of Wands. Okay, so it, it was going slow, but I feel like someone from the past, this is like, I'm talking past life, okay, for some of you, uh, person is here, okay. And they know that... Uh, You've known each other in the past, okay, too. And there's recognition there, okay? And uh, they want to give to it, okay? All right, now this could be the Scorpio. And this could be shocking to you and for some, uh, some of you, okay? That this person is even interested in you, okay? All right, but here's the lovers. All right. Okay, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. I feel like you're going, you're ending a cycle, okay? And you're getting ready to move into a new cycle. And I feel like they know that, and they've got their spidey senses out. So they want to give to it, and it's this is divine timing. They're going to be coming in at the right timing here. They've been through some stuff, okay, too. I'm picking up that kind of Pluto energy. Okay, so that's like cause and effect stuff, too. And, and this year it's been tough. I'm not, uh, it's just a lot of big changes, and those aren't always comfortable. Okay, so, all right, so. If, if there's a willingness to move with the change, it's, it's, it feels a lot easier and better in the flow. Now, here is this. So, I feel like the divine timing is here. How am I doing with the time? Did I go into a new video? Okay. Anyway, divine timing is here. Okay, it's like you two are going to come together at the perfect time. Okay, so uh, just go about your business. Release uh, any kind of stress or worry or any of those things. You want to release that and move into the ease. And that's where you meet. See? Okay, and here's the Queen of Cups. I feel like it's a water sign. Uh, or it could be a fire sign here. Who's been in their emotions for you? Okay. Okay, so I'm picking up Italy because I just, they pointed here the siren, and I was like, okay, and, um, and then I remembered that I, um, okay, that's a long story, but anyway, so I'm picking up Italy. Could be someone from Italy. All right, and here is the Ace of Swords. They're going to come with their truth. Okay, and I feel like they've been through some stuff here. Okay, and it's going to, it could have you in your head and uh, wanting to think about it. <laughs> okay, but don't overthink it because, bam, look, the Nine of Cups is here. I feel like 
Practice being open to receiving energies in your daily life, in your every moment. And I feel like that practice is going to help you uh, connect. That's what I'm getting. Now, your natural way of uh, doing things is probably walking away. But this time, it's calling for you to uh, try staying, right? I'm getting that. And that could be because the Pisces energy, if you're holding that, that's like, with the Sagittarius, that's like wanting to go find something or go find what it is, uh, the purpose. Okay, so you want to do that work ahead of time so that you can work on it. Okay, and be back in your energy. That's what I'm getting. All right, now let's get a love card here. Like, if you're an artist, whatever it is, keep doing that because that would get you in the flow state. All right, now here is, yep, see body positive. Okay, so this is not just outside. This is inside stuff. Okay, that came up in a Libra reading, I think. Okay, ideal romance. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay, so some of you, it is a Libra coming in, okay, and, um, okay, so, <laughs> okay, Virgo can have a discerning eye, right, a critical eye, <laughs> so um, the suggestion here is ease up on some of that, right, okay, so, and I feel like, um, Practicing compassion with yourself, like in the mirror and encouraging words to yourself and things like that. That will also help improve your personal relationships. Thank you. I leave you with that. <laughs>